Kenyans might be forced to dig deeper into their pockets for dairy products in coming months as milk production has been reducing. Livestock Principal Secretary Harry Kintai blames this on low firm gate prices for milk, an outbreak of foot and mouth disease in parts of the Rift Valley, and recent increase in animal feeds, which has seen some farmers abandon dairy farming on concerns of high cost of production. The government says it will not dictate the retail prices of milk in the country in the advent of reduced milk production in the country. Livestock Principal Secretary Harry Kim Tai says low milk farm gate prices coupled with high cost of imported animal feeds occasioned by COVID-19 related movement restrictions across the world and the spread of foot and mouth diseases in parts of the Rift Valley have left dairy farmers on the edge with some opting out of the business altogether due to the high cost of production. If that, uh, that we leave it to the uh, market forces, demand and supply, to ensure that the prices uh, does not go uh, up. Uh, we don't want the process. I mean, the processors to exploit the uh, the consumers as well. So we are keeping track of that. We want the market forces to play demand and supply without influencing. Negotiations on modalities to allow importation of milk from the U.S. are ongoing with the government pledging to protect the local dairy industry from unfair competition from the imported products. Now we are now at the negotiations on, on issues of FTA. So we are going to get to take the concerns of the farmers and ensure that uh, the farmers uh, are protected as well. To further ensure local animal products meet international standards, stakeholders have validated the animal health, veterinary health and animal welfare bills that seek to increase safety standards. The animal protection and welfare bill is regulating how we care for our animals. With the passage of this bill, you will not see chicken being hung on the careers of uh, matatus. The two bills also seek to improve efficiency in the livestock production value chain. Benson Duopa reporting for Channel One Business.